Hi guys, this is Vishal and welcome to this live video. And it's a bit late at 11.30 India time. So I was actually not uh, well today, so I thought I will not do the video, but then it's I have committed doing live video every single day. And then when I enter this room, where you can see that quote, which is like applicable to all my family members, that whatever it takes, you have to do it. And there is something interesting which I want to share. So I have to do it. So I'll continue doing this star uh, trading concept, which I've been teaching since last few days and on, on live videos, on free videos. And then we'll continue that. So by the way, if you want, I'm doing a free uh, webinar on, on star trading strategies called MalkanStarCall.com. So if you are not part of this, make sure you register. And also tomorrow is the webinar at 9 p.m. It's a free webinar on star trading concepts. So make sure you're part of that. So now, so I uh, uh, and what keeps me going is is the wonderful uh, support and comments and love which I get on YouTube and Facebook and so many comments uh, which says that, OK, the learning is great and it's working and uh, they're trying to understand it's simple and they're getting some premium content, which actually I teach in my paid programs called started a program. So and so actually one person uh, sent me a message. I think it's on YouTube. It says that if you're teaching all the stuff on free videos, then what you will teach in started a program. Uh, there's a lot more, a lot more. And it's not about the concepts. The concepts maybe not more, but the detailing, the nuggets, the nuances, the small, small filtration. And uh, there can be several five star setups at the same time. So which one I will select based on what? So that's that's where the difference is going to be of course and those who can't afford those who don't want to be part of the program those who don't want to spend money or those who don't want to learn faster or quicker or or do less mistakes but for them still there are free videos so if you watch all my tuesday technical talk and all this still there'll be a lot of benefits still you'll do less mistakes so works win-win for everyone so so uh, yesterday i did a, a, a video on record session count and that uh, chart we saw in detail was one was Maruti and one was uh, Tata Motors. So let's see what uh, we can, what we want to see today on Tata Motors. So I'll continue that. Uh, let me show you chart. If you can see my chart, say I can see the chart. And yes. So yesterday we were tracking, in yesterday's video, I was doing. Uh, detailed analysis of Tata Motors. Now I know it went up today decently, like four or five percent. And I'm not trying to say like normal people. Oh, I told you, so I'm giving you that. Oh, Tata Motors went up and all that. So let's understand this thing. I we I used to do that, and I know I have done that for so many years. Oh, I told you that. See that it went up and all that. That's beyond now. We are beyond beyond all this. Let's just focus on the concept, why it happened, and how it happened. So that once you understand, then you can do it on your own. It's no rocket science. Like all my students do it all the time. So uh, we were looking at monthly chart for this record session count. If you have not seen that video, you can go that check that video. Yes, yesterday's Facebook video was record session count. Just to recap, it is like eight to nine, eight to ten candles back to back in the same direction, same color is called record session count. After which we generally see a reversal. And if we see a reversal, then we can have a decent move in the new direction. Now, in this case, there is a record session count, which is working. And then we saw last month, which is uh, December, was a doji. January, which closed today, 31st January, is also a small body. And it has slightly closed above previous candle, which is a good sign because it has not done in the last seven, eight months or 10 months that previous candle never closed above the uh, previous uh, sorry the current candle never closed above the previous candles high or close so everything is black 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 and this is the first kind of a higher close which is a good sign and then uh, volume interesting remember that why we what you started in concept if you're new to this video uh, it's a seven step process which i call seven dimension uh, price pattern volume momentum uh, volatility price uh, sorry time and sentiment so let me go ahead price pattern volume momentum volatility time and sentiment this is the seven step process what we are talking about 
So we're looking at price, which is uh, all bearish. And then we have a pattern, uh, which is uh, kind of an indecisive in December and January. And it's not breaking. Since last three months, it's trying to uh, hold on to this level, which is uh, a long term support from the previous 130, 140 levels. And then we are having some decent volume, especially in last. Number one golden piece of nugget you, you want to know is that when volumes are high and price does not go down, it is a buying or an accumulation volume. So in this case, price did not go up, but volumes are high and price did not go down also. That means it's an accumulation or a buying volume. That means somebody has bought it. It can be a short covering. Now, if, let's say if it's a short covering from all the people who are shorted. Very few people short, by the way. Uh, whatever people have met, the retail people, they try to buy this like, okay, Tata Motors from 600, 400, cheap, buy. 300, cheap, buy. 200, buy. Because they think it's cheaper. That's how most people lose money. But let's say some professional, they were short and now they have started covering their position because of the volume. That means they see that it's not going further down. And if it doesn't go further down, the only way it can go is up, right? But at the same time, we need to understand that this is kind of, if we are trying to buy Tata Motors, we define our trades as a star trading community. We define our trades between a contra trade and a trend following trade. So something like Bata I showed some time back in some of the videos or some, or maybe a trend which is above 60, 60, 40, the setup one is a trend following uh, setup. But here, what we are trying to do is a contra trade, which means a trend is down and we are trying to buy the bottom in which case we might get stopped out once or twice okay because it's and it may move, move slowly like it is not moving since last two months but it is making a base so here you need patience so once you know that this is a contra trade i will be more patient and ready to have a couple of whipsaws i'll go slow in my pyramiding or uh, uh, quantity but when it's a trend following i might be slightly aggressive because that's with the trend so I hope this is a golden piece of nugget which you can learn uh, today. I hope you are you guys learning something. Yes. So uh, coming back to Tata Motors is monthly uh, good can and because it is contract and it has to be below 40. Now let's look at the weekly chart. Very, very interesting. Uh, what I can look at is you can see there is a kind of a seven bar or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bar divergence here. Regular divergence, not a reverse divergence. And it has started confirming the divergence, which is trading in the direction. The target could be this, which is 200. So it's still 10% from here. Now, first of all, a biggest myth about divergences is I have spent, uh, remember my first video on unconventional RSI is that conventional looks at 70, 30 and divergences. And unconventional looks at uh, 60, 40 and reverse divergences. Although we also look at divergences, regular divergences like the one I'm showing you, but under only certain conditions and under certain parameters. Otherwise, every if you trade every divergence, you lose money. I have lost a lot of money on divergences. Thinking is the end of the world, right? So don't do that. Now, let me give you one tip, which is the shorter the distance between the divergence, which is the number of bars in this case is seven that much stronger the divergence if the bars increase by 20 30 40 diver the bars then it dilutes the divergence and then it's no more powerful and then then we can go on long on where the divergence should come below 40 above 40 up above 60 and all that can be done we can do that in next videos so right now we focused on monthly record session count and then we saw the volume has increased and then there is a weekly four, five bar, six bar divergence. And I, in fact, I forgot to put the Bollinger Band, which is also having a volatility divergence, which I discussed yesterday. So let's put the regular 20 moving average. That's 20 moving average. Now look at this downtrend. Second signal where Tata Motors will show that it's showing strength. Look at this. As a job of our technical analyst, our job is to find out patterns Pattern means what? What is the definition of a pattern? Something which repeats. Like if you are wear, I'm not wearing a check shirt, but if you are wearing a check shirt, then checks means lines are coming after every certain distance, which is called a pattern. 
right? And if there is after lines, there is suddenly a circle, that means the pattern has broken, right? Same thing we have to understand. See this market starter motors from this uh, year, which is to the start of 2018 till the end uh, of this last month, has been a continuous downtrend, which is 420 something to all the way to 160. Remember one very important tool, which I covered in some of my videos that the most powerful tool in technical analysis is 20 moving average. Now you see that never it crossed 20 moving average in this one year on the weekly chart. Now look at this, it is just around 20 moving average. If it crosses that, that is the first sign or that could be the second or third sign that Tata Motors is up for a contra trade. Now remember the first sign from monthly record session count long term price support small body doji plus volume so this is like a big case study i'm doing this is like i'm 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 going to take this trade i'm already taken this trade i'm going to take this trade along with you if you are interested at your own risk with your own disclaimers and with your own uh, risk management rules but we are trying to understand that one year it has not crossed 20 moving and once it crosses that's one strong sign and then we go to the daily chart yesterday we saw that there is a range shift going to 60 not breaking 40 is a good sign this is which, which was going below 40 this on daily weekly monthly all the tools and techniques price pattern volume momentum volatility time and sentiment and then yes today's move was four or five percent and with some great volumes so that means that confirms the buying situation going on. And remember, we spoke about volume a lot in the previous videos where we said this was the last exhaustion volume. We can see this. And since then, it has gone into a strong sideways market, strong sideways market, right? So in this is sideways and volumes are slightly picking up. That means accumulation, which I explained earlier. So now if we are doing, remember, if we are taking this trade, we are doing a contra trade. So we need to be patient. We Ideally, if you, if, if you can't trade futures, you can't handle the volatility, you can trade in cash, slowly, slowly build up. But the idea is to learn the concept deep enough so that you can apply later. And then it's all about adding more zeros to your quantity, more zeros to your capital, more zeros to your profits, and more zeros to your happiness. But right now, trade small 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 so that you understand and learn it's for learning the market not for trading and making money there is enough time for all of us to make money as long as stock markets are open and they will remain open all the time whether we are there or not right i hope uh, is this turning out to be a great session so far and uh let me see the chart has disappeared so let me just put the chart again one second Just trying to put the chart again. Yes. So again, I'm on the chart. You can see the chart. Now, this is where I was talking about daily chart. See the exhaustion volume. Volumes picking up. Yes, today's candle, big white volume, big white candle. Higher bottom making on this. Daily range shift RSI here going on. And weekly volatility divergence 20 moving average working as a resistance for one year now about to cross which may happen next week and monthly uh, record session count small doji plus a white candle today uh, this month with slightly above average volume in the last couple of months that means accumulation volume that means we are in for some kind of contra trade on stock on tata motors so now i hope you understood what i'm talking here and make sense to you are you guys learning something and if you want to be part of this star trading community i'm doing a free webinar tomorrow at 9 pm called malkanstarcall.com be sure to be part of this webinar and be sure to be part of this Balkan star trading community so this is a, a a basic it's kind of a revision i did i'm taking a case study kind of a thing let's see we will continue talking about Tata Motors as we go forward so that you learn hands-on 
on each of the concepts which I covered so far, including range shift, including volume, price, pattern, support, and RSI, Bollinger Band divergence. And if you want to go deeper, then join us for MalkanStarCall.com. And thank you so much. If you think that this video was very useful, and I think it was very useful, I thought it would be a two-minute video, but it turned out to be a long video explaining the whole thing, which, which is good. And also, one thing, let's say tomorrow is budget. Everybody is hyper and everybody is alert at what should I do, what should I trade, when should I trade, uh, what's going to happen. I would say just relax. Nothing is going to happen if it goes up and down. Still, after 1 o'clock, everything will be normal. Don't worry. Uh, there's something called as FOMO, F-O-M-O, the millennial language, fear of missing out. So you may go through that FOMO. I could have bought this. I could have sold this. Just let the event get over and then focus on, again, go back to Tata Motors. In fact, if it goes down during the volatility, it would be a great uh, opportunity to buy on an hourly or a 15 minute chart. So it's just a just an event. And it's this time it's an interim budget. So I don't think there's going to be a major thing. But whatever it is, we are ready with our starting concept. Long or short, doesn't matter. We are ready to rock. Let's get started. So don't take too much pressure about uh, budget. Uh, there's enough days. Monday onwards can be a new week, new day. Do this detailed analysis on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, like star seven step, price, pattern, volume, momentum, uh, volatility, and join us for free webinar tomorrow, 9 p.m. And also I'll be in Bangalore on Saturday, Sunday for a free session. If you are in Bangalore, just drop in to join college. You can see the details on my Facebook page. Thank you so much. Good luck, good trading, and share this video if you think it was useful. Join us for Star Trading, MalkanStarCall.com. Have a good day. Have, have a good night, actually. Night. Thank you.